What's going on Reef Builders? I'm Jake Adams. We have, we always, always have a special video for you. We don't bother to do video unless it's really special, but I think this one is gonna be a little bit more unique than usual. So, you know, freshwater aquarists, they have it so easy because they get to go to their store or go online and just order whatever plants they want, tissue cultured or submerged grown, and they're ready to go, like just, just like that. But in the saltwater aquarium world, we don't have that same luxury. It's a very much kind of like, like produce, you know, like vegetables and fruits, what is going to be in season or like really healthy at the time. And that's the reason we set up the studio and we have these three coral flats is so that I can acquire corals, condition them, grow them out. And then when I'm ready, I have a tank ready for them. I just come over here and collect the corals that I want. Like you've seen me Bob Rossing around and um, it works out really good. So we're gonna take that step. We're gonna take that one step further uh, for this video. This is the beginning of a mega collaboration between Reef Builders, Ecotech Marine, and Aquarium Design Group. So in a couple days from when this video is shot, I'm gonna be traveling over to Pennsylvania to build up a NIOS Opus 2 as a reef tank, and Jeff Sensky of Aquarium Design Group, he's gonna do the same, but do a planted tank. So Jeff had, the, the, you know, the easy task of just like ordering from a catalog whatever plants he needs for his freshwater aquascape. Whereas I grew the corals and I have to come over here and pick out the corals that I want to ship to them. But I have to take it a step further because you can't just frag a coral, stick it in the bag. You want to make sure it's clean, disease free. You want to frag it, you know, one or two or more days beforehand. So you don't have like that open tissue that's bouncing around the bag. That's oftentimes going to lead to a bad time for the coral and everyone involved. So I've done all that pre-work, I've got the corals, I've grown them out, I've picked them out, and I fragged the ones that needed to be fragged. So now I'm just gonna go around and show you the ones that we're gonna box up and send to Ecotech Marine. Make sure to hang out till the end because there will be one special little trick that we're gonna do to help this one day reef tank build along. So if you don't mind, I am going to go around and I'm going to show you the corals that I've earmarked for this special collaboration reef tank build with Ecotech Marine. And these are what I'm going to go over are the ones that are kind of like my priority. And we have two boxes and if there's room, I'm going to come back and grab some more. So in this tank, we have the Acropora horrida. This is a really beautiful thin branching species. It, um, it's always got shaggy polyps. A lot of times it'll have like a kind of a bluish um, growth tips with a yellow tip at the end. So there's the Acropora harida. Um, this is my world famous uh, immortal tort right here. So I have it pre-cut and these are the colonies that I grow in lower light. And I have some colonies behind me that I grow in higher light. And I think that's it for this tank. And then in this tank, this is some of my lower, lower light stuff. So we're gonna send probably this long polyp leather, the same as these guys right here. I collected that off a shipwreck in Solomon Islands like seven years ago. Um, probably gonna select a couple different pieces of the candy coral. So we have some of the neon green here and then my uh, spearmint um, kind of striped candy coral strain. What else is in here? Think, uh, oh yeah, Milka. You see we have Milka just littering the ground of freaking from that fragging that we did. People ask what we do with the frags. Well, we just kind of dump them in little piles if they're as hardy as Milka. So I'm gonna send them a few chunks of that. Um, and I think the last thing in here is gonna be that pipe organ. So this is the only thing that we're gonna frag today um, because it's not like when you frag that up, you're just kind of breaking the skeleton, like the basal skeleton. So it's not so much tissue. And I'm, this thing's just like a half basketball. I'm gonna take a, uh, literally a cake knife and just slice right through it. I hope it works. I hope it works out like that. Um, all right, and I think the rest of the, the corals that I want to send along are going to be in this aquarium. So here you can see that immortal tort again, right here, this thing just super hardy, grows like crazy. Um, 
What else is in here? The Hydnophora. It's funny how new reefers, I will ask me what this is because they don't see it in their stores and it's like one of the most common. And you can see there's actually three different strains of this thin branching Hydno. This one's like super neon. This one's kind of neon, but with like lighter colored tips. Um, we have some of the green bird's nests. I'm sure a lot of you guys will be familiar with this. I've already made the frags that we're gonna be shipping out. Um, what else is in here? Uh, oh, here's the crystal, exp oh, sorry, the, um, this is the Manila Spy, like a thin branching Montipora. And then here's the crystal experiment, another thin branching Montipora. Um, here's a bunch of that red dragon that I butchered uh, out of that one reef tank. It's just been sitting here in the corner for a while. And last but not least, my 20 year old plus strain of branching hammer coral. I think that's gonna be a pretty good selection to get them started, but I'm not as cavalier as you might think. I, I'm confident that we can put these corals in the tank and everything will be fine. But one trick that I accidentally did is I put some blocks of uh, Polyp Lab Genesis blocks in my sump about two months ago. So I'm gonna be sending along three basically conditioned, matured blocks of the Polyp Lab Genesis Biomedia. And I just pulled this out, right? We already have, see some sponges growing over here. We've got a stomatella that's gonna ride along and a little brittle starfish. And this is gonna be just like a perfect um, instant biofilter for, I think it's about a 65, 70 gallon aquarium. So three of these will be overkill, but I'm just gonna send them along just to uh, make sure we got all those bases covered. So now it's time to collect the corals and uh, bag them up. One of the first things I want to get across to you guys is I'm absolutely not like a shipping master whatsoever. I love growing corals, fragging them and sharing them with local friends, but I hate the shipping part. So don't really take any tips from me on how to ship coral. Um, I'm just going to overdo it. I'm just going to pack them you know, full of water. All right, so we've got the immortal tort here. We've got a few pieces of the Acropora horrida. I've got some water in the workshop ready to go. Um, I'm gonna set this here for a moment. Pretty sure I wanted to grab one of these Duncans that I, I didn't mention on video, but these are not, these are like pre-fragged and they're just on the same base. There we go, perfect. Nice, clean little classic Duncan. I've been growing like a stem style Duncan I've been growing for seven or eight years. We're gonna tuck you over here. Gonna grab nice, nice chunk of horn coral, neon green, fast growing coral. You almost have to like watch out where you put this guy because he'll go like freaking crazy. Put him right there. Um, what else do we have? Ooh, a nice little chunk of red dragon to get them started. I think this is probably the, the prettier starter piece here. There we go. That's a nice little piece. And you know all those tips are going to be broken to hell by the time it gets there. So there's that. And then a few pieces of the green bird's nest. There we go. You'll notice that, you know, I am going like with some SPS, like for me, the hardiness of a coral doesn't really matter if it's SPS or LPS. You definitely have some SPS corals that are really hardy and you really also have some um, LPS corals that are not so hardy. Um, I think this is the piece of crystal experiment I wanted to send out. Here we go. Just a nice kind of gnarly growing uh, orange or green Monty. There's that. And then, hammer. oh yeah, the hammer. The hammer piece, I think, I don't know, this is a little, little much to ship all at once, so I think we'll, we'll trim him off a little bit. Come on, buddy, there we go. Put you back with the rest. And probably break this off at the base, there we go. Perfect, that's a nice little mini colony to get them started. All right, so I'm gonna just walk these over to the, uh, to the workshop, put them in some water. I'm gonna come back and grab a few more pieces. 
Like I said, with the shipping, and I'm not a master when it comes to pipe organ, there is no clear cut way to cut this coral. Like this thing is super massive. I know it's glued onto a base and we've had to re-glue it a few different ways, but you see it's just a mass of polyps. So I am just going to go crazy with it. Um, this is gonna be kinda, this is gonna look vicious. This is gonna look bad, but I don't, I don't know how else to do it. So we're just gonna go, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that like a nice chunk just separates itself. This is a frag that's been grown for about three years. And we're just gonna go like that. Just slides right in, okay. I see, I feel some separation already. And then just, okay. All right, maybe my cake thing will work. <laughs> we're just gonna go like this. Ooh, I feel a lot more crunch in this direction. Every one of these pieces, man, we're gonna be collecting these for a long time, I can already tell. All right, is there anything loose yet? No, no, I just made a, tr oh, here we go. There we go, there's a piece we can live with. We can live with that, but look, look at all the little pieces that are just gonna fall all over the place. And we are prepared for this. We already have a basket, an extra basket here, where we put loose pipe organs. That's how you know you're a real pipe organ grower. So these two chunks, this is more than enough, man. This coral grows so freaking fast. Not nearly as much as I wanted to ship, but I think I'll grab one more just to help myself to uh, give me a little bit more room here. I'm not sure if anyone's ever cut pipe organ with a, with a cake knife. Come on. There we go. There's another piece. And now we're gonna have to find a home for all these little bits. Alrighty, what else did I want to send? So we're gonna send a couple pieces of Milka because this is just such a great starter coral, just indestructible. I'm torn whether to send them a couple big chunks or one chunk and a few frags that can glue together into a, an instant super colony. I think I'm gonna go with the latter, so grab a few of those. And yeah, that's, that's more than enough to play with here. What else do we have in here? So this is long polyp leather's already closed up. Just super convenient right here. Gonna clean off his base a little bit. And he's just gonna go like this. And I think the last corals I wanted to put in that tank were some candy coral. We've got, uh, like I said, the neon green and then the colored mint variety. I think, I really want this tank to look awesome on day one, so we're gonna throw in Another little piece. So we've uh, gathered most of the corals we're gonna be sending to Ecotech Marine. If there's room in the box, I might sneak in one or two more, which we'll discover on the other end. But very important for this one day build is we're going to transplant this biomedia that I have serendipitously been uh, maturing here in my own sump for about at least two months, I wanna say. I'm pretty sure that one block would be enough to handle the tank but I'm gonna go ahead and send them three just to be safe and also just to offer them um, uh, more biomedia that they can use on their other tanks uh, as, though, as they're setting it up because they're building out a studio um, of sorts like ours to help uh, uh, you know, create content. So these are nice and heavy, but also very porous. All right, so here's just a, like kind of a basic overview of what we're gonna be sending. I put the soft coral in his own water because true soft corals, you know, they'll exude some, uh, some funky tonk that we do not want mixing with our more delicate uh, stony corals, especially not in shipping. And then uh, here's most of what we're working with. I bagged up a couple already. So we've got a few candy corals. There's the Harita the uh, polyp lap uh, bio blocks, the Genesis blocks, and then just a little bit of, of everything. <laughs> it's funny, you know, I want this tank to be like totally full and mature and just look like a picture on day one. And even if I'm putting in 10, 15 corals, most people would think that's a lot for day one. Um, but I don't want to overload the, their ability to keep up with the mineral demands of this aquarium. So I am going to give a closer inspection 
to everything on the other end so we can keep some of those nasties out of the tank before they go in. Um, but yeah, we've got some Duncan, Milka, there's the Immortal Tort. Green bird's nest, some more milka. There's my vintage hammer coral. Um, the green thin branch hydno, and then some red dragon, and probably more pipe organ than we're going to be using on this tank. I don't think it would be very fun or entertaining for me or for you guys to watch us pack up these corals, um, but they're gonna be in good hands, so hopefully uh, this video turns out, because we've never done anything like this before. I've done unboxing videos, but not boxing videos. Um, so if you wanna see how the corals did, definitely head over to the Ecotech Marine YouTube channel and see their unboxing of these corals, which should be a really nice preamble to the actual tank build that we're gonna be doing. It's gonna be very exciting, reef builders, uh, Ecotech Marine X Aquarium Design Group. So I really hope you guys are as excited as I am for these tank builds across uh, the country. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of that content. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and share it with somebody who might enjoy this content. Thank you so much for making the YouTube channel, the Reef Builders YouTube channel, as fun as it is. And we'll catch you guys in another video very soon. Later, guys.